Hello Mouses! It's going to be a quick show today because I've got a massive headache but I want to get back into the swing of things since we're coming up on the new year and today I want to talk about the interesting news that a bunch of hackers have worked out how to inject some information into a certain type of cash machine by exploiting the fact that some banks are still using Windows XP. Now the way that Windows works is it tries to its best to be the most helpful thing around by just running any old program that appears on any USB stick you stick into it. Now that's a really nice feature if you don't know what you're doing with a computer but for anyone who is running a bank and is using XP to run their ATMs that's a very very bad idea because all that you need to do is work out where the USB port is behind the fascia on the ATM because it's just a PC behind there with a monitor and then cut that bit out. Stick in the USB stick that you've already put your new software on and it will run it. And lo and behold, we now have an ATM that will quite happily give you out thousands and thousands of pounds. And then you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. Every time it's filled up, you go along and empty it. All of a sudden, you've got millions of pounds and it's untraceable. So this has been going on for about six months now. And it's only apparently working on one certain bank because it's an exploit that runs specifically on the software being run on that particular bank's ATMs. But the fact is it's out there and it's like, wow, these guys didn't think when making a secure computer system to run its cash machines, they didn't think, you know, we'd better turn off those USB ports or even better, we'd better not have USB ports. In fact, we should have no drives or ports or anything like that on these machines so that people can't come along and stick in their own software. I mean, what's next? For a practical joke, these guys are going to decide, well, we've got enough money now, so we're just going to go along and inject a new version of Pac-Man into it. Or, hey, here's some Space Invaders for you to play while you're waiting for the machine to count your cash. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be possible to do this, but apparently it is. So, apparently there are developments in progress to get rid of this problem, but it's a problem that shouldn't have been there in the first place. But, hey, these things happen when people that really don't know what they're doing with computers use computers for things that they really shouldn't. But what can you say? That's just one of those things. But XP, they're still using XP. Wow, surely you would use something a bit more secure like Linux or an Abacus? Maybe that's just me. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like this. If you did, remember to click the like button, share it with your friends so that they can see what's been going on in the world as well. And do subscribe for future videos because we will be having more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching The Knob Mouse Show. And I'll see you tomorrow.